Hello, it's Ariana here, online business manager and Kartra expert. And in this video, I'm going to show you two different things. One is how to set up an order bump, and the other is how to set up an upsell or downsell product after one particular offer that you have. So first, I just want to differentiate between those two. So first, an order bump, what we call an order bump, is something that is embedded within the actual checkout form. So here we can see this in this example where we have, you know, they've selected the product that they are purchasing. Let's say that it is a course from you and they're putting in their credit card information. And right before they actually finally click the confirmation button to process that payment and sign up, there is a little offer for an upgrade right here. And here is where they can select and toggle on or off whether or not they want to include that in their purchase. So that's one, that's the, that's the order bump. That's one way of enhancing your sales value. The other one is an upsell, which would work in a bit of a different way where they would have, this wouldn't be right on the checkout form. So what would happen is first, they would process the payment for this particular course. They would click the button to confirm and purchase that course. And then instead of going to something like a confirmation page on the next page, it would actually offer them another item or another course from you where they are able to purchase with one click and kind of lump that in with their original first purchase. So the really the main thing, the key differences are one is that the order bump is happening before they make the first purchase and the upsell is after they have confirmed that first purchase and the other difference is that doing it as an upsell gives you the ability to kind of create a whole page um, about that particular about that particular product whereas here it, it's much more condensed and limited as far as how much information you can fit in there so the order bump works really well on smaller items that you want be people to just be able to kind of upgrade to before they check out. All right, so we are going to jump into creating these. So the first thing I'm actually going to do is set up the upsell products. So I've got an example product here and I'm going to just this, this is the one that we are working off of first. And so this is what they're purchasing first. Now we want to create an upsell that's going to be put underneath here. So what I'm actually going to do is click on the add product here and start setting up the product. Now I'm going to skip over this initial part or parts of the settings here. As far as setting up products goes, we have a separate video that walks you through how to set up a product and configure all of the details. So I'm just going to call this upsell one and I'm going to specify that rather than it being a main product, it's actually an upsell or downsell that we're going to tack on to this example product here. So I'm going to go to the drop down menu and find that example product upsell downsell. And now we're going to go next. Okay. So I'm going to fill this in with example information and skip through to the end. All right, so I have set up everything in these settings and I'm going to go back to products and we're going to head over to our example product again. And now it's not just the main product here, but we've also got the upsell that has been attached to it. And so as far as the settings go for each of these, you're going to click edit into each of them separately and they each have their own set of settings as far as tagging and adding them to the lists and what happens after they purchase and so on. But because when we were initially setting it up, we selected that it was going to be an upsell or a downsell and selected this other product it is now attached to it in there. Okay. So what will happen is when somebody processes their purchase of our example course, it's going to take them to the upsell. And then here too, we can, we're, we'll be able to see all of the metrics because all of that is connected. 
Now, one last thing, the other thing that you want to do is click to edit that initial product. Next, and we wanna make sure that we are actually directing people to that upsell wherever you have placed it. So essentially what you're going to do is you will have another page that has that upsell checkout form on it. And so somebody's going to purchase this. And then in our pages section here under thank you page, we actually want to switch this to whatever that page is where you have put your checkout for that upsell product. So we're telling it after somebody purchases as the thank you page or the confirmation page, they're actually being taken to an upsell page that we've created. Okay, so just a quick recap, you're going to go in and create a brand new separate product, but when you're creating it, you're gonna select that it's an upsell or a downsell, and then you will attach it to your original product. That's one step, and then the other step is you're going to then, once this is completed, you are gonna create a page that has this as the checkout form embedded on it. Again, I won't go into that in this tutorial. We have some other videos um, if you check out our YouTube channel where they will walk you through exactly how to create pages and how to embed checkout forms on them. Okay, now on to the next part where we are going to create a bump offer as an example. So this one, we actually want to select that it's a main product and it's going to be separate, I, like visually, it's going to be separate from your main product over here, the example product, as opposed to the upsell that kind of gets lumped in with it in the same section. So again, I'm gonna just go through these settings with example dummy information and I will show you what to do with this once it's done. Okay, so now I have created the product and set up all of the settings as it pertains to just this particular product. Again, as far as what they're going to be tagged in, the pricing and what happens post sale. So now that that's ready, we're gonna go back to products and we have our bump offer here. Now, in order to sort of attach it and make it appear on as a bump offer on your original course or offer, we're gonna navigate back to our example. We're gonna click edit on that first core product. Now, before we move on to actually setting up the bump offer, there's a important note that I need to make here and it is that if you are going to create a bump offer, you cannot use PayPal as a payment processor. It doesn't work. It essentially just doesn't show the bump offer. And so this will only work if you use um, just the credit card option as the payment processing. So in that case, if you really wanted to have some sort of upsell and you were using, you really wanted to use PayPal, then what you would do is create an upsell and not have a bump offer that's directly on the checkout form. Okay, so I'm just going to skip through these settings. So again, I'm in my core product where I want the bump offer to show up. So under the checkout settings, if you scroll to the bottom, there is a bump offers section here. So we're going to hit yes to activate the bump offer, activate, and then we're going to select that bump offer that we made as a separate product here. So now I've got the bump offer, I've got my one price point of it, and here is where you can put in the headline and a description of up to 800 characters and it's going to show it to you below where you can preview it. So there are three different designs that you can choose from. I'm gonna go with the first one. And as you make changes here, you can see them reflected down here so you can see exactly what it's going to look like. 
The thing you can't change is the product name because this is in the actual product settings. So if you wanted that to be different, you would need to change it back in that product's settings. Okay, I won't change this piece. This is the dummy content for the offer description, but that appears here. You can also choose a couple of other things. You can choose to keep or remove the thumbnail, which gives a little visual of it. And then this is the thumbnail is the image that you would have put in to the settings of the actual product when you set up the bump offer product. And then you can choose whether or not you want a red bouncing arrow here. And I would definitely recommend including that so that it brings people's attention to the fact that they may or may not want to click on something there. Okay. And that is also, you can only have one bump offer for one particular product. And again, you cannot use PayPal. So those are sort of the limitations of that. So we're going to click save, but we see here that it has been activated. And we're going to click through to the end of the settings. And now I will show you kind of how that will look like on the front end. Okay, so we're going to go back to products. We're going to find our product here and we have our first page of the simple checkout here where we are filling in our billing information or address. And then we get to the second page where we're gonna put in our credit card number. And this is the point at which our bump offer comes in and we are either going to add it for the $1, you can see the difference in the price, or leave it off like that. And then they will submit their payment and it will go through from there. All right, so I hope that was helpful. If you wanna make sure that you are notified of upcoming tutorials that we are releasing, make sure you subscribe to our channel and check out the description below where there are free resources that you're gonna love as well as plug and play Kartra funnel templates that you can import into your account right now and start using today. Thanks for watching.